Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can install Python and Jupyter Notebook and create our first Jupyter Notebook on our Windows system. First of all, to install Jupyter Notebook, we can use Anaconda that has Python and Jupyter Notebook shipped with it. Otherwise, we can install Python and then manually install Jupyter Notebook later. But we will choose the easier approach and just install Anaconda. So go to this URL. The link is in the description below and click on skip registration. And here you will see Windows, Mac and Linux. So you can choose for any of the operating systems here or you can just click on download and the appropriate one for you will be installed. Sorry, we'll be downloaded. Let's wait till this is complete. Once the download is complete, just click on open file and the installer will open up. Click next, click I agree. And you can install just for yourself or all the users which will require admin privileges. So I'll just click just me for now and click on next. And this is where your Anaconda will be installed. The space required is 5.2 GB and available is 1 to 1.5 GB. If you don't have storage in C drive, just click on browse and choose any other directory from here. Okay, after you have chosen your directory, click next again. And here you get the options that says register Anaconda 3 as my default Python. So the Python version that is being installed is Python 3.12. Now no need to do anything here. Just click install and the installation will start. Again, let's wait till this is finished. Once the installation is complete, just click on next. Click next and uncheck this because this will open uh, the documentation and keep this checked because we want to open Anaconda Navigator from where we will install, uh, sorry, we will open Jupyter Notebook. Okay, click finish. So after a few minutes, Anaconda Navigator will open. Now here, we can close this and you'll see a bunch of applications. Some of this uh, will be already installed. So as you can see, Jupyter Notebook is already installed and yeah, other options like uh, PowerShell prompt, Anaconda prompt are also installed. So you can just click launch in this Jupyter Notebook. Now you are seeing a uh, launch here and here because I had the, these installed externally, not these are actually not in included in Jupyter, no oh, sorry, Anaconda. So click on launch in Jupyter Notebook and uh, Jupyter Notebook will open. And then we will create our first notebook and run our first Jupyter Notebook code. So as you can see, Jupyter Notebook is opening up and we have our Jupyter Notebook here. So I already have this here because I already had it installed and created some notebooks here. In your case, you will not see this. So what you can do is click on new and click on Python 3. And a new notebook will be created. Here you can write your Python code. So let's just write a simple hello world message here. Now to run this, you can just click on this, run this cell. And as you can see, we have successfully created a new notebook and run some Python code. You can just click on file and save notebook as, click on uh, save notebook as and give this a name. I'll just call it test.this, save it. And this notebook will be named test. So you can go here and reload this and you will see test.ibynb. This is the notebook that you have here. This is how you can install Python and Jupyter Notebook and run your Jupyter Notebook. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.